So in the previous session we have seen a half header is a 2 bit header which receives two input A and B and produces two output sum and carry. The sum equation for a half header is always equal to A XOR B and the carry equation is A dot B. So basically the sum equation for a half header is always the XOR connection of the two inputs given and the carry is the AND connection of the two inputs. Now similarly we have also discussed about the full header where a full adder is a 3-bit adder along with the inputs A and B the carry input from the previous sum is also provided to the circuit. The output is sum and carry. The sum equation which we developed in the previous session was sum is equal to C in XOR A XOR B and the carry equation which we developed as C in A plus A B plus C in B. In this particular session we will see how to design a full adder using two half adder. So for the designing of full adder using two half adder, the sum equation for the full adder remains unchanged, but there will be a little modification in the carry equation. Now we are going to develop a different equation for the carry. So let us first write down the mean term equation for carry of full adder. So carry C in comma A comma B is equal to summation mean term 3, 5, 6 and 7. So this is the mean term equation for carry. Now let us write down this equation in terms of variable that is a canonical equation for the carry. So the equation will be carry with the variable c in comma a comma b is equal to the equivalent binary for 3 will be 0 1 1 0 1 1 for 5 it is 1 0 1 for 6 it is 1 1 0 and for 7 it is 1 1 1 so let us write down in terms of variables and it will be carry c in comma a comma b so it will be c in complement a b plus C in A complement B plus C in A B complement plus C in A B. Now this particular equation is completely in canonical form because all the variables are available in each term. So let us take common C in from these two terms and it will be C in a complement B plus A B complement. The next is C in complement A B plus the last one is C in A B. Now we can write C in A complement B plus A B complement can be written as A XOR B plus we can take a B common from here and it will be A B dot C in complement plus C in. Now C in complement plus C in is always equal to 1. So this will be reduces to C in A XOR B plus A dot B. So this is our modified carry equation which we are going to use for the designing of full adder using two half adder c in a b so let us draw the two half adder first so this is my first half adder and this is my second half adder let the input of the first half adder are a and b as per the given equation and the output is my sum and carry. So the sum equation is A XOR B and the carry equation will be A dot B. Now we will provide the sum to the input of the second half adder. Now a third input C in is provided to the second half adder. So this is my input C in and this is A XOR B. So the sum output of the second half adder will be A 
XOR B XOR C in. So this is my final sum output of the full adder. Now what will be the carry? So as you can see the carry output of the second half adder will be A XOR B dot C in which is present in my carry equation as you can see here. Now the overall carry equation of my full adder is the OR operation of these two terms this term and this term. So this is the output of the second half adder and this is the output of the first half adder. So let us connect these two outputs with the help of an OR gate and the final output is my carry output which is actually C in dot A XOR B plus A dot B. So in this way we can design the full adder using two half adder. So basically this is my block level design. Let us try to make the circuit level design. So this is my block level design. Let us draw the circuit level design. So for the circuit level design, we will draw the circuit diagram of two half adders. So the first half adder, which is having one XOR gate and one AND gate and the two inputs are A and B. The same inputs are given to the AND gate. So this is my sum or we can say S0 and C0, the sum and carry output of the first half header. Let us draw the second half header. So the second half header also consists of one XOR gate and one AND gate and these are the inputs. And let the second stage output is S1 and C1. Now the sum output of the first half adder S0 will be A dot sorry A XOR B and the carry output will be A dot B. So we will directly connect S0 to the first input of second half adder and we will provide a third input C in to the second input of the second half adder. Now my S1 output will be C in XOR A XOR B. Now what will be the value of C1? The C1 will be A XOR B dot C in. C in dot A XOR B. Now as per the equation which we developed my final carry output will be the OR connection of C in dot A X or B and A dot B. So the first term is A dot B which is my C naught and the second term is C in dot A X or B which is the output which is the carry output of the second half adder. So what we will do we can connect this two output with the help of an OR gate which is my final carry output. So this is my circuit level design for a full adder using two half adder. In the next lecture we will discuss about some more combinational logic circuits. Thank you.